guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm back with another Lush review. And this time around I'm bringing you the Big Bottle of Joy Reusable Bubble Bar. Now this bubble bar is currently unavailable in Lush's range. They did have this in their range for a brief time in 2020. I think it might have been a UK only or a Japan only exclusive. I'm not 100% sure, um, but it definitely wasn't available in Australia where I am. Um, I just happened to buy this second hand off someone uh, in the Lush community that I'm very close with. And it was just pure luck that I was able to get this bubble bar for review. So let's get straight into it. The ingredients of this bubble bar are sodium bicarbonate, sodium laurel sulfate, cream of tartar, laurel betine, neroli oil, grapefruit oil, orange flower absolute, rosewood oil and rose oil. So for those of you who are quite familiar with Lush's range, you might sort of pick up on some of the scent ingredients or even the name of the product with the word joy in it. Um, it is the same scent as the Happy Happy Joy Joy Hair Perfume, the conditioner that has quite a lot of um, perfume in it as well. And yes, I would say it's pretty accurate. It does fairly, pretty much share the same sort of scent in my opinion. I do feel that this is more floral than Happy Happy Joy Joy. Um, I definitely notice the orange flower a lot more in this and the neroli and the rose. Um, yeah, the rose is really strong. So is the orange flower in this. It's even more strong than the Happy Happy Joy Joy. Uh, I definitely feel that the citrus side is a lot less in this. The grapefruit um, and the neroli. I think that the neroli is more sort of helping those floral notes be a little bit more elevated and a little bit more rich. Whereas the grapefruit is there to sort of add that little bit of a sweetness and freshen things up as well. The rosewood, yes, I definitely do get a woodsy note from this. Rosewood is not a super strong woodsy note, but it is definitely there and it is present. And you definitely feel there's a base to this scent and this product in terms of the layers, you know, the top, middle and base notes or bottom notes, whatever you want to call them. So in terms of the bubble bar itself, I absolutely love these big bottle ones. I believe they currently sell the big bottle of Calm, which I have done a review on. It is a purple colored um, reusable bubble bar. They are quite expensive. They're about 40 Australian dollars and I think they're about 20 pounds in the UK. Um, so a lot of people look at that price and they think, wow, like that's way too much for a bubble bar. They look at the size of it and they think that's not going to last very long at all. I can tell you now it will last you a long time. This is just after one use. The top of it did um, break off because I did cut it too deeply with a knife at the top. I will explain why in a minute. Um, but yeah, I barely used it and that's one bath and it was full of bubbles. I will show you the demo at the end as well. Now, one thing I definitely need to tell you is there is normally a black wax up the top here. My recommendation with any bubble bars that have wax on them, please cut them off before going in the bath with your bubble bars. They can stain your bath. Like obviously you can get it out, but it just takes a lot of effort. Um, they can stain your skin quite badly. I've had red stain marks from um, bubble bars in the past. I've had black stain marks on me that haven't got, come off in days. So I recommend cutting off the wax before you use a bubble bar like this. I do have a video on that. It's not the best quality of video, but I will leave it linked down below if you are interested and do want to learn how to cut the wax off. But one of the mistakes I did do, and it's pretty easy to do with these big bottles, is because the top part where the top of the wax is, is quite small, you can accidentally cut a little too deep and the top will come off. Okay, so overall my thoughts. I actually really enjoyed this um, bubble bar. I wasn't 100% sure if I would love it. I did like it when I smelt it and I just thought, yeah, it's a nice scent, but it is a very, very strong scent in the bath gives you a beautiful light sort of orangey bath water. Uh, the bubble yield is quite nice. Um, yeah, it's got everything that you could want out of a reusable bubble bar. So I'm def definitely giving it a five out of five rating. 
Uh, so as I mentioned earlier in the video, there will be a demo slash showing of the bath water. It's not really a demo technically, um, but I do always show bath, the bath water, the color of it and the bubble yield, uh, just so you guys get an idea of what you can expect with um, a bubble bar like this. And yeah, um, it's a good little demo if you want to see it. If you don't want to see it, that's pretty much the end of the review now. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please stay tuned for more reviews like this. But until next time, take care and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now. So here are just some of the bubbles from the big bottle of Joy Bubble Bar. Um, the bubbles did sort of drop quite quickly. I will give you that sort of warning. I don't know why, but they just did. Uh, the water itself is quite nice. It's sort of like a light reddy orangey kind of color um, it looks a lot more red on camera than it is in person but still a really nice color um, the scent is really strong and lovely so that's a great point about this one but yeah I definitely think you need to use as much as you can <laughs> um, when you're trying to fill up the bath with the bubbles thanks for watching